And here we are, back with more pitches for Nefty Give Me Five 2023. I'm Paul Robinson, and today we are gonna to continue our way around this world as we head directly for Bhutan. Hi, you again. Hi, you again. Well, thank you for staying up and pitching to us. We're very much looking forward to hearing your pitch. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity as well. Absolutely, absolutely. So whenever you're ready, please. Uh, project I'm pitching is about the uh, Seoul, which means uh, my country is from Bhutan and my country follows the Buddhism religion. The founder of the Buddhism religion is the Buddha Sakyamuni who lived uh, before 2,600 years ago and he preached his teachings. So uh, Buddha explained that all the problems and sufferings are uh, from the confused and negative uh, state of mind, soul, and uh, all our happiness and uh, sadness depends on how positive and negative we are. And like all these are led by the five poisons which we consider in our Buddhism. They are anger, pride, jealousy, attachment, and ignorance. So these five are always with us. So my story is about a young guy who uh, takes his usual day like any other usual day. So he sits on a bench and as soon as he sits on the bench uh, alone and then like he, uh, we see a woman coming over to him and then like he walks with him. As soon as he sees him, he is enchanted by her, her beauty and he fe fell in love with this lady. And then like they grow the attachment. As soon as they grow the attachment, they become close and they sit on a, a good restaurant and a bar where they sit over for maybe a shot of nefty vodka. And while they are there, the girl encounters a friendly guy who meets him and like, that's where they, for the guy, the jealousy occurs. So now we already have two poisons in him. So when there is a jealousy, oh, there will be definitely a pride for him and the an anger. So which is now which we already have four of the poisons. So while happening on the journey, so, Within a short period of time, then he begins to fight with that lady, with that guy as well. And in the meantime, he uh, finds himself in a big problem whereby uh, he no longer is himself. So, which I'm trying to depict is that our people's mind doesn't take long enough to spoil themselves. So it just needs like maybe a few seconds or a few minutes to just, uh, he started from a very happy mood, like suddenly he's shifted into a very forceful guy and a very vengeful guy and into a very problematic guy. So in a way, so in a lot, uh, at the end of the video, but when he comes back from there, he, he, that thing hasn't really happened. But then it's all about the imagination. So as a Buddhism, we, uh, as a Buddhist people, we also believe in illusions, magics, and all these fairy tales. So in a way, I'm trying to think that this really hasn't happened to him but then, in a way, it, I leave the uh, choices to the audience where they decide if the when he, when he's there, again, the lady walks by. But then by then, when the lady is about to cross him, we end the movie there. So we leave the uh, choices to the audience whether how to take on that message. Ted, do you have any questions? The only question would be that the the message at the very end what what is it that you're really trying to say that we do have the choice to avoid the five poisons or definitely yeah definitely that's the message that's where why i'm stopping there uh bruce did you mine was more a production question was just had you thought about how you're gonna film it felt like it's a lot to um, fit into the budget. And so just sort of wondering how we're going to see on screen everything that's happening in his fantasy world. Yeah, uh, I have a very uh, planned it very simple way because this uh, in the capital city of Timpu where I live in, there's a big uh, happening thing like at the most popular uh, park called Clock Tower that's in the main town. So it's very big that there's a place where you can sit like a park. And there's a bar nearby. So, I mean, like, this is a perfect place to pitch your whole idea in one location. Okay, you guys. So, what do you think? What do you think? Once again, a storyboard may have helped him a little bit more to um, deliver. Ted? 
No, I I got it when you explained it, Paul. But I didn't <laughs> that's what I was saying for him explaining yeah. it. It's like Paul yeah. shouldn't have to take over his right, business. right, right. <laughs> and his film. So that's I, for me where I was saying I just it, I mean Paul was really trying to pull it out and get it to a victory. Yeah. You're the best. I'm sympathetic. He's coming back again. I love the Buddhist ideas, but I do yeah. have a lot to chew on in one short, for sure. All right, we're always saying how important pitching is. So keep that in mind for tomorrow's episode when we head to Bangladesh. I'm Paul Robinson, stay creative.